Olga Shishigina won an Olympic gold medal in the Sydney Games in 2000. In her track records are an Asian record in 100 meter hurdle, a gold medal of the Asian Games, silver medals of Summer and Winter World Championships, a gold medal of the World Indoor Championship. Many years ago, a girl with a runner's physique was invited to a track and field club by an athletics trainer. We asked Olga what did the sport give her? Well, it's my life path. Thanks to athletics, I achieved my results, reached my goals and made a name for myself. This is the half a century old indoor track of the Children's and Youth Sports School of Olympic Reserve, where Olga once was training. Now it's a facility where her friends train young sportsmen. I started my training in this very indoor track. I remember my first coaches, my teammates, hurdles, running, my training. It all started for me here on this track. Olga's first coaches were Claudia Pankratova and Valery Stark. Some athletes whom she met here are now Olga's long-term friends. She's my very reliable and loyal friend. She's a woman with a strong will. She's fair. You can always rely on her. She will always support you. She'll always back you. It's so nice to be with her. We're friends for such a long time. We support and understand each other. Friends of Olga appreciate her for an ability to remain calm and confident in any situation. It seems like she can resist any storm, and when she's around, everyone feels better. When Olga towed the starting line in Sydney, everyone was rooting for her. Her family, her coaches, and her fellow athletes, her friends, and the entire country. It was independent Kazakhstan's second Olympics. И дружба народов, где я была победительница, где азиатские игры, где тоже была, это была серия. International friendships, Asian Games, a series of Grand Prix starts. I mean, World Championships, where I won medals. I did have a lot of competition experience. I became an Olympic champion. Me and my coach were ready to win an Olympic medal. The question was which one. At competition of this rank, your rivals are as strong as you. They have the same results. By the finals, we all had virtually the same results. Only psychologically strong sportsmen get to the finals. Результатом по силам, потому что мы выходили когда финал, у нас практически мы все одинаковые результаты были. И на этих соревнованиях выходит именно у кого психологически, кто как с этим справится. Shishigina had her own style. She could give in to her rivals, but made up for her lost time right before the finish line. Her coaches called her a small tank for her perseverance and determination. She was absolutely stable psychologically, so she could speed up at the right time and find herself among the leaders. <laughs> Don't get into your rival's stride. That's the most important thing. Don't shrink into yourself in loss. I didn't get into anyone's stride. 
I finished like I wanted. It was my strong point. When I won the Winter World Championship, I was losing, but I didn't shrink. Olga won her first important medal on All Union Youth Games back in 1985. She was part of the team of independent Kazakhstan at the Asian Games in 1994, where she was chosen to be the best sportsman of the continent. Her dreams started to become reality, but only Olga and her trainers knew the price of this success. Even when doctors were telling her to take care of her health more, she kept training and was working through the pain when injured. It was a payment for the right to be first, to hear the national anthem of her motherland, and for the right to represent Kazakhstan worldwide. Not everyone has a chance to become an Olympic champion, but the work of Olga Shishigina and her coaching team has been rewarded. Это было ощущение гордости, что, во-первых, Ольга Васильевна, она была первой олимпийской чемпионкой женщины у нас в Казахстане. Во-вторых, была гордость за нашу страну, гордость за наш город. It was the sense of pride, first, because Olga Vasilyevna was the first female Olympic champion in Kazakhstan. Secondly, we were proud of our country and our city. I just can't tell you how excited and exalted we were that we did it, that she proved she could compete with the world's best athletes who were considered invincible at that time. Her victory infused us with confidence that we can prove to the world that we have athletes like this and we can bring up athletes like her. Thanks to Olga Shishigina's victorious run, the world learned about Kazakh athletes and realized that our country pays a lot of attention to sports. Тогда был сложный период для нашей республики. Подготовительный период у Ольги тоже проходил сложно. И, естественно, начиная за неделю. It was a difficult period for our country. Olga's preparation round was a hard one, too. And of course, we were worrying about her one week before Sydney. Maybe she felt that. Still, despite of all odds, Olga was on the starting line. And when I watched her standing there on television, I had no doubts. I knew she would win. I saw it in her eyes. She was to win. Only victory. She's a determined athlete. She's the pride of our sport. She was proud for her country. She was standing proudly under our flag. She was setting an example to us. Sometimes you could feel ashamed just being around her when you were afraid of something or afraid of competing. She is very calm and confident. Kazakhstan will never forget those seconds when Olga ran her distance in Sydney. Athletes and ordinary people alike were glued to their chairs watching television. Her victory became a victory of the young independent state. Момент очень волнительный был. Все-таки это для нас была вторая Олимпиада нашего суверенного суверенного Казахстана. It was a thrilling moment. These were the second Olympic Games for our sovereign state. Olga Vasilyevna had a spectacular victory in 100-meter hurdles. We were rooting fiercely for her. We were celebrating after that. We were proud of our country. Olga Vasilyevna was trained in Kazakhstan. It was an unforgettable moment. Ольга Васильевна – коренная воспитанница казахстанского спорта. Вот. Это было, конечно, очень незабываемо. Ольга Шишигина is in sport for 20 years. She remembers how she took her son to the stadium with her, who was also involved in athletics, how she was bandaging her stretched ankle, and how her aching tendon did not allow her to run. Anyone else would have given up on sport, but not Olga. She is a true fighter who always overcomes her obstacles. Her family had not seen Olga for months. They were worrying about her when she was at the training camp and in competitions. But this was her way and her choice, and in the end, she left a history in sport.
нас стали узнавать, так как это были всего лишь э, по счету вторые. People started paying attention to us. These were our second Olympics, where we were as an independent country, where we represented our country. They saw Kazakh flag, they heard Kazakh anthem. Увидели наш флаг, услышали наш гимн. Holding back tears, Olga ran to the finish line at the World Championships in 2001 in Edmonton because of her injured Achilles tendon. Doctors suggested her an operation, but with no guarantee that she'll run or even walk normally after that. Olga suffered, endured the pain, but she knew that it's time to take the most difficult decision in her life, to leave sports. She left her favorite racetrack, but not athletics. Olga is not a rare guest on trainings and competitions, on stadiums and arenas, where she is helping and giving advices to athletes. Человек, который профессионально занимался спортом, он не может просто уйти из спорта. Это своего рода... A sports professional just can't leave the sports. It's like an addiction. You are always interested in what's going on. You want to know more. And then, when you devote 20 years to the sport, and you know your federation and your coaches for 20 years, it's impossible to stop seeing them. Невозможно, чтобы с ними не общаться. The famous Kazakh athlete and Olympic champion in athletics, Olga Shishigina, is always busy. Shishigina sits in parliament, promotes the discovery of children's playgrounds, where children are taking their first steps to a healthy lifestyle. She's a great wife and mom as well. Overwhelmed with work, she also needs to gain experience of the deputy. Her discipline, worked over the years, is helping her to make everything done. At this moment, I am the Deputy of our Parliament of Kazakhstan. The burdens Currently, I'm a member of the Kazakh parliament. I like being an MP because I choose what to do myself. And since I know sports issues well, I support sports federations and help them with organization matters. When I became an MP, we were developing the law on sports. We drafted many amendments and the law was successfully adopted with our amendments. Было изменено, и, конечно, вот эти вот поправки, которые касаются именно детского спорта, мы это сделали, мы этого добились. There's a lot of faces and names among the champions and winners of the Olympic Games. In today's multi-ethnic Kazakhstan, representatives of any nations can adequately represent themselves in all spheres of human activity. Sport is not an exception, but a rather confirmation of this fact. When children first come to the gym, they fall into a multinational family of athletes, where they have their own idols, someone they want to be like. Она выполняет огромную работу, так как является единственным представителем спорта в парламенте нашей страны. Вот. То есть... She does a huge job as she is the only representative of sports in the country's parliament. She works with sports federations, assists in development of laws for the sports infrastructure and physical education. I am the school director. We grow the Olympic reserves for the all-Kazakhstan national team. We have to identify talented kids and prepare them for big achievements in sports. Olga Vasilyevna shares her experience with us, and it helps us in bringing up our future sports stars. And of course, I want a new big sports star coming out of our school. Olga Vasilyevna, of course, deals with her experience. То, как говорится, без которого не получится воспитать большого спортсмена, большую звезду спорта. Вот. Мы бы, мне бы, конечно, хотелось, чтобы новая звезда большого спорта зажглась именно из детей, выпускников нашей, нашей школы.